Hello and welcome to Little Home in the Universe. I am Stephen Reese. Today we will be going over cooking of an eye of round. Um, you know this kind of as a chuck roast or a top round or roast beef from the deli counter. So it is a lean cut of meat. It is also a less expensive cut of meat, winning there, um, and it is flavorful. Uh, the only drawback is that it is so lean that you really have to be specific about how we cook it. So we're going to marinate this with some horseradish, with some mustard that you can buy from my website, with some Worcestershire, and yes, with a little bit of artificial beef flavoring bouillon base. Why? Because it'll just bump everything up and the stock that you buy at the grocery store these days is such garbage that you might as well just use the fake stuff. I said it. I did. I said it. Um, we are going to cook this low and slow in the style of barbecue. So I will be turning on my little small oven to 260 degrees and cooking this for about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours until it is medium. And then I will show you how I slice big chunks of it heat that back up and then cut it again for a lovely roast dinner or I tie the whole thing up in plastic wrap and slice it very thin after it's chilled for a wonderful roast beef sandwich or roast beef on top of a bean salad or cube it and toss it with country club, club dressing for a lovely, you know, as we used to call it at the restaurant, the crowd pleaser. So this is a uh, wonderful thing that you can do for yourself at the beginning of the week get about a two, three pound eye around, roast it, and then utilize it in many different methods and preparations throughout the week, as I had already mentioned. All right, let's get started. First, we are going to heavily salt all around the eye of round. We're gonna salt around it, hey. Um, a fun little pinch pot thing that I've realized is that I only use one hand to go in and out of the pinch pot, and the other hand typically holds the raw meat or raw product that I'm working with. Um, just an interesting little note. So we're gonna heavily salt it so that we really permeate into the meat muscle and create some lovely flavors and pull out some more beefy notes. Then we're gonna put some cracked black pepper over the top of all of that. Um, you know, again, a fair amount of this. A uh, little secret ingredient is, ooh, garlic powder. Yes, so we want to then coat the entire exterior with garlic powder. Uh, another little fun tip is that this is how I typically do my barbecue. Um, so we're going to eyeball our mixture. It's the dill champagne mustard, um, some horseradish, and uh, about a half a spoonful of the beef bouillon, and then three good splashes of Worcestershire. So all of these flavors combined really help to encourage the full robust flavor of the beef to come forward. Um, you'll see that we're not putting any, you know, um, unique star flavors such as like um, chilies or something because we want it to stay pretty um, under the radar and just support the beef flavor so that when we use it in different recipes throughout the week, it isn't, um, you know, kind of tweaking towards, say, a chili or tweaking towards a tomato product, if you will. So once we have it nicely covered, we're just gonna uh, tuck it in with some cling wrap and put it to bed for uh, about 24 hours. A full 24 hours has passed. The eye of round is lovely and marinated with all of our yummy bits. Uh, some juices have come out. This is just normal. It's part of the salting process. Uh, we're just gonna scrape our bowl out and just kind of spoon those right back on top. And then I have my oven up to 260 degrees. If yours can go to 255, good on ya. And I'm gonna put it in there for about two hours. Here we go into the toaster oven. Yes, mine is pretty dirty. Um, make sure that you pull out your thermometer, whichever one you're using, and have it on hand. So I let this roast for about an hour before I try and temp it. I'm gonna leave my temperature gauge in there as you can see my setup. Oh look, now it's done. It's been there for two hours. Just shut that off, 
pull this out right here, just put it on the counter, and then I'm gonna let it rest for a full 30 minutes. You heard that, 30 minutes. So while we wait, we're gonna sharpen our knife. If I were to, say, want to serve this for dinner, I would just cut this to the portion sizes as one, there you are, so that would give me two there. Uh, and then I would reheat that back up in the oven and then just cut down, hopefully not like that, but in one <laughs> good, strong motion. I actually am going to use this all for cold cuts this week, so I'm going to wrap it right back up really, really tight. It's actually very important that you get this as tight as possible to really compress the meat down. And then I'm going to pull it back out and slice it up for sandwiches and such for later in the week. So here is just an example of what it looks like after it's been chilled and sliced. I put it over a bean salad this week, as well as I used a portion of it earlier hot with these cranberry beans uh, that I will post in the notes. Please like and subscribe these videos and enjoy your dinner.